Today I am mostly up a ladder. Look at this, in this glorious evening sunshine. The roof's all painted. I know it's patchy, but there's a reason that it's patchy. But it's all done. Now the reason it's patchy is purely because all I needed to do was seal the holes and seal the screws that I'd used to put the panels on the roof. So I didn't want to waste the paint by painting the entire roof. I mean, after all, it is a roof. Nobody's going to see the top of it normally on, a, on an everyday, everyday basis. So it's fine the way it is. doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it's done. And I can confirm all the screws have been sealed with that seal and roof fix paint that I got off Colin. And all the holes that were left over that I didn't get the chance to use and didn't quite line up properly, they're all sealed as well. Take you inside and show you that I have all sealed up and there's actually no light coming through into the garage from the roof now at all. So as you can see, we're now inside the garage, echoes a little bit because there's very little in here at the minute, but there's no light coming through. I'll show you a quick look on the floor and you'll see there's absolutely no light coming through from any of the holes in the roof anymore. Look at this, nothing at all from anywhere. So we do have some light coming through there from the gaps where the old window used to be before I, uh, I've locked that up. But as far as the roof's concerned, there's no holes coming through at all. After I painted the outside the roof, I came in and I also put some paint on the inside just to sort of strengthen the fact that uh, all the holes have been covered. But it's absolutely brilliant. There's a couple of shafts of light down there in the toolbox, and I think there's one just about there on the edge of that bit of metal. But like I say, they're coming in from over here in the, the window section where the spaces are and the gaps are, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. Now, I did have to do a little bit of modification to my brush because obviously once the roof's on the only part you can stand on is these bits up here where the joists are so I could stand across those but obviously this is very uh, very flimsy as you can see so you couldn't actually put any weight on there so I didn't want to stand on that and uh, risk falling through or disrupt anything so I made some modifications to this soft brush that I had uh, originally it went to there but I uh, drilled some holes screwed an extra bit on now effectively that makes that long enough so that when I was standing at this side of the garage behind me, outside, up the ladder, on the roof, I could actually reach across with that brush full of paint to virtually halfway through the middle of the, of the garage roof. And then when I came around and went through the other side, which is like behind the camera, from that side, I could reach in the middle again. So that brush covered from both sides in the middle of the garage. Uh, absolutely perfect. And uh, it's getting all the holes covered. So well chuffed. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Love that. Big thumbs up to Colin. Thank you very much for that paint. Just in case you're wondering, I've used five, I think I've used seven litres. So I've got like a tin and a half left or 7.25 litres or whatever it is. So I've got a tin and a half left. So I'm going to keep that. That'll come in handy for future use just in case I need to do anything else or I put any extensions on. I find any leaks or anything like that. But uh, absolutely fantastic. Once again, thanks very much to Colin for supplying me with that paint free of charge. And uh, that's all done the job. So now we can get on with the rest of the inside of the garage and obviously messing about with the cars outside and we'll get moving forwards. Now I've got somewhere that's nice and dry when it rains, I can have a car in and working on the car. And of course, even though we're coming up to where in the middle of, well, at the end of September, late September, look at these gorgeous skies. Absolutely amazing this. So I've definitely made the most of it today. That's what the uh, the roof currently looks like. I put the overhang there. Obviously I'm going to paint that wood that's holding the roof up as well. Just to protect that, I'll probably paint that in uh, old engine oil which I've got plenty sub plenty full supply of rather than uh, any kind of wood preservative or anything like that I think the engine oil is going to be a lot better to protect it in the weather and I'll go around the whole garage doing all the wood on the outside that goes all the way around and I'll give some coverage in here as well I'm gonna to have to paint inside the garage because it's a bit dark and dismal in here at the minute so we'll be getting painted probably white I would have thought more than anything else not sure if I'm going to paint the floor yet or not but definitely I'll be painting the walls and brightening the walls up a little bit and getting new lights and getting everything sorted as time goes by and we can get through uh, everything like that once I get some more money saved up I can do the rest of the work that needs doing in here and then hopefully I look forward to getting a car in just in time for winter and we can start doing some of the work that can only be done indoors not only at that time of year but obviously if I'm going to be messing about with the uh, things like the, the roof of the charger uh, I don't be doing that outdoors certainly not this time of year when it's going to be constantly damp and wet for most of the days moving forward throughout the rest of the year so now of course I've got to get rid of all this rubbish behind me so I can make space to get the car in and start doing the work so incidentally, if you're just new to the channel recently or you haven't noticed it as yet, I do have channel memberships activated at the minute. So if you want to see a whole load of content that's never going to be shown publicly, it's only available in the member section, 
consider becoming a channel member. You'll also get your name on the screen. Uh, at the minute there, what I'll do is I'll run the names up here of the current list of members I've got there. You can join the likes of Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV, uh, Gary McKenna and the Scale Studio and getting loads of additional content plus the ability, if you want to, of getting your project featured in a video on my channel. All the details are in the information on the, on the uh, description of the channel memberships. Just hit join in the link below and uh, that'll give you all the information on there. It's all available. Uh, absolutely amazing that I've got the support of the members that I've got. So obviously you've just seen their names floating up the side of the screen there. It is also be pretty amazing if you consider subscribing to the channel. I'm this close to being fully monetized so I can get paid for the adverts in the videos as well. I need 11 subscribers, just 11 subscribers. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed as yet and you're enjoying all the content that I have got out there, do please consider subscribing to the channel. According to my analytics, there's 92% of people that watch the channel who aren't subscribed. Subscribing to the channel is completely free of charge. Just click on subscribe below uh, and that'll get you in. As I say, I need 11 subscribers to get fully monetized. The quicker I get monetized, the quicker I'll be able to build up some funds to get more tools for the garage and do more work on the cars and all the stuff that I, need, or that I need to order. For now though, if you've enjoyed this video and seen how far we've come with the garage, what I'll do, I'll put a link up here to the playlist for the entire garage. So if you've just recently new to the channel, you haven't seen the reasons behind putting the roof on the garage and, have, and what I've gone through in order to do it, because I have done it all on my own, with the exception of uh, one, one mate, Dave, who helped us get the original powers off the roof, and another mate, Sean, who helped us secure the remains of the roof after the incident happened that caused us to have to put a new roof on. So if you want to see all of those from the beginning, as I say, the link's here, uh, and yeah, you can go and watch that now. Don't forget to caress the like button on the way out if you've enjoyed the video. And consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.